Hi, I'm Michael Bracco, and this is Monster Mind, a character design demo show where I monster fight things in as many ways as possible on this giant campus. Today's theme is, well, we didn't really have a theme, because this is my first live episode. That's right, I worked with the Charm City Craft Mafia who put on a uh, virtual pile of craft, uh, a local craft show um, that nobody could go out for because of COVID-19. So they worked really, really hard to bring a um, digital version of this show and it was an awesome success. Uh, for this, they asked me to do a demonstration and I thought that this was the perfect opportunity for me to do a live version of this show. Um, so, and behind me is the results. Um, I'm trying to cover it up a little bit uh, to uh, leave the surprise, but the real fun thing is that the themes were suggested by the audience. Normally, there is a specific theme, like trees or pets, and a lot of you love to draw along with me. Uh, with this one, it's going to work a little differently. So I still want you to draw along with me, but this time, draw your ver version of the suggestions that come up and send them to me. Um, I can't wait to see what you draw for Monster Mermaid, or I don't know if you can see the hyena back here. And right now, it's a big mess, but watching it as it goes should help make it make sense. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start with a suggestion uh, from my daughter, and then after that, I'm going to ask for you all to start just dumping things in the chat, and I'm going to try to speed draw my way through filling this entire eight-foot canvas. Now, I'm doing this as part of today's Charm City Craft Mafia virtual pile of craft. You can hopefully, so hopefully it's not reversed. We were a little nervous about that. Um, but hopefully you can see virtual pile of craft. There's tons of artists. They are all uh, making amazing work. Um, normally today would be the day of the Baltimore uh, Charm City Craft Mafia show pile of craft. And of course, because of COVID-19, we are not there. Uh, and we can't join together and get together physically, but we can still do it digitally. Um, so please go to charmcitycraftmafia.com and check out all the amazing work. Buy some Mother's Day presents. Um, get, get a jump start on Father's Day presents. Um, hopefully my family heard that. With that in mind, I'm actually going to invite my daughter to come on up. Come on over here. This is Amelia. And a lot of the things I draw are to make her laugh. Here, come on over. Come on. Right in front of me. Uh, and, uh, hey kiddo, how you doing? Good? All right, what do you want to see me start this drawing with? Mermaid. A mermaid? All right, high five. Awesome. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm actually, because I'm a little nervous, really, actually. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, and while I'm doing this, you can start putting in some different things. Um, but I am just going to start, uh, I always like to start with a colored uh, marker to get, like, a nice gesture jet down. And you can see that I'm... I'm going to start kind of bringing it down across the bottom. And I probably won't work this big, but I just wanted to get in on that. All right, so I was given the idea of mermaid. But of course, this is uh, me monsterfying things. So I don't just want to um, uh, just draw an adorable little mermaid. I want to get it as monstery as possible. So I'm kind of starting with a weird kind of skull form. Although I've given it giant uh, pouty lips. Um, and of course it's a mermaid, it needs some flowing hair. So let's get into that. Uh, I, I really like to draw it large uh, 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 with a brush and ink. And I'm actually just using a big like number eight brush. Ooh, I've got my first drip. I don't know if you can see that, but when you're using a brush, there's always this danger of dripping. Um, I myself love a good drip. As I'm going through and starting to really quickly block in the most terrifying mermaid I could possibly have, um, I'm going to ask um, my wife, do we have any suggestions yet? A uh, shark man was suggested. A shark, okay. Shark man. Shark man. Like to go with mermaid, shark man. Oh, oh, I get it. Okay, so shark man to go with mermaid. All right. Yeah, oh. This is from Alf Green. Oh, oh. Yeah. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I'm not really sure how you would say his um, uh, Instagram handle, but he is uh, somebody I've known for years from doing these shows. I've actually 
uh, done a, a, a mural in his basement, in Drew's basement. Oh, cool. Yeah. And uh, well, he's, he's always, watching right now. He's, he's watching right now? That's out. awesome. Hey, man, how you doing? It's good to see you in here. Or not see you, but have you seen me? All right. So uh, I've got a pretty decent amount of this mermaid going, but I heard Shark Man. But um, um, I'm, I'm going to kind of change track right now. And instead of going into the mermaid tale, let's turn her it into the shark. I heard shark man, so I might as well stay true to that. So let's make him nice and weirdly mannish. And feeding right into the mermaid tale. Anything else coming through? Yeah, so um, Bioshell Zombie is saying sandwich bear. A sandwich? Sandwich. Sandwich bear. bear. Okay, so I'm going to monsterify a sandwich bear. All right, I guess there's multiple ways I can do that. And a part of the fun of this, of course, is figuring out how exactly I'm going to do that um, within these suggestions. Because it doesn't have to be what's in your head. It's got to be what's in my head. My head. All right, so let's see. Sandwich bear. Um, let's start with the bear. And again, I'm going to make him pretty foul and monstrous. Um, ooh, let's make him a teddy bear. Um, I, I, I like to draw teddy bears a lot. And I really like to draw teddy bears as giant monsters. Um, I don't know why. They're about the least creepy things in the world. Uh, which maybe, maybe that's why. Taking something that's not creepy and making it creepy seems like it would be something I'd be into. Uh, during this, uh, my daughter and I have been eating a lot of and making a lot of Italian sandwiches. So, here I'm going to make this uh, into a sub. Other teddy bear arm, kind of holding it. And of course, let's get the lettuce and the tomato. Um, we like so, ham. So, uh, you're also getting a suggestion for Monster Potato Head, if you can fit that into a sandwich. If I can fit that yeah, into a sandwich? Oh man, a monster oh, no. potato I'm head. Just... I'm going to put it right in this space here. Um, and of course, uh, no potato head works without a nice, adorable little bowler hat. And of course, whenever I think of potatoes, I think of the eyes on a potato, and I always think of it having three eyes. And whenever I think of Mr. Potato Head, I think of the nose that's just kind of plastered on. And then do we have a next suggestion? So Lisa on Charlotte's account... Uh, would like you to monsterfy jellyfish. Monsterfy and, a jellyfish. Oh, she, that sounds right up my alley. <laughs> and that is um, someone that is very near and dear to me. She says that she loves hearing your voice. It's kind of like talking to you. Aw. Yeah, that's, be, that's because I never shut up when I'm in a conversation, probably. Um, um, I can attest that is true. Lisa was a person that I taught with for... 15 years and what was it she asked me for a jellyfish, jellyfish. Ooh, Monster okay by a jellyfish i don't know if that's in your wheelhouse yeah i don't know so i'm just going to start with that big dome of a jellyfish and um i'm going to kind of spread the eyes out a little and do something a little differently i've been doing the kind of the same eyes over and over so uh and i'll even like make them like goat size because why not um i don't know if you know this but goats have like rectangular eyeballs um Drawing as many weird, monstery versions of creatures as I have over the years, there's a lot of, like, weird, dumb, and interesting, to me, very interesting facts um, about animals, like what a goat's eyeball looks like or a ram's eyeball looks like. And then I want to give him kind of a weird mouth. So let's make his mouth sideways and make the teeth come out like the tendrils. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's gross. And then let's get that big, poofy thing that comes out of the center part of a jellyfish. I have, I have a little paper towel. This is another fun thing I can do. Put a little extra ink in there. And then I can actually, this is an old one I've got, but I can actually create some like kind of shadow lines in there. And then of course I can get the tendrils. I'm almost done with this guy, I think. So anything else? So, um, Juliana asked for a monster made of flowers. Oh, a flower, or a monster made of flowers or some sort of flower monster. Hi, Juliana. Oh, it's so cool to see people from like different parts of my life kind of intersecting here. Um, Juliana's all grown up now, but was a student of mine. 
um, years and years ago, and we bumped into each other at cons. Ooh, flowers. God, I've been seeing so many of them in our backyard lately, and uh, it always looks so happy, and it's like the one thing that's really nice about being trapped in our house is that our yard has so many like nice and beautiful flowers. So I'm going to make him monstrous, of course, or it monstrous, of course, but I'm going to do it in a way that makes him creepy and scary in a happy way. So I'm going to give him this big stupid grin and these weird cat eyes. Okay, and of course this would be the center of the flower. Oh man, feed me Seymour. Instead of giving him big long petals, which might take up a ton of room and also take away the focus of his face, I'm going to kind of keep them short. And while I'm putting in these petals, I've been really amazed with uh, how many, you know, how many people have kind of drawn along with me and uh, send me artwork. I even feature some of the artwork that people send in. So if you want to, you could check out MonsterFi on YouTube and, um, um, you know, subscribe and play along. It's also a really great thing to do as a family. Um, I have a lot of families that do that show together and then send me their drawings at the end. All right, what's my next suggestion? Okay, Silly Green Girl says angry fruit, watermelon or pineapple? Well, let's do a watermelon. Okay, so I'm just gonna almost draw a complete round thing. I was gonna say circle, but that would be a lie. And right now it's kind of looking like Pac-Man. Uh, let's see if I can actually make this thing look like watermelon without any pre-planning or anything. Oh, we got another drip. I love a drip. So here is the outside of the watermelon. And then how am I going to do the inside? Oh, I know. Duh. Watermelons have seeds. And I think I've got my watermelon monster right there. All right. Anything else? So James Blizzard of Oz is requesting a robot made of garbage. A garbage robot. He says he's always been a fan, own all your comics, except your current run. I need to get on that. Oh, thanks. That's awesome. And I do, I, I yeah. Um, is that one on sale? Uh, if he's talking about the creators, yeah, everything that's on Etsy is on sale right now. All right, so a garbage robot. Oh, man. Um, huh. If I think of a garbage robot... Let's see, I'm gonna start right here. I don't know that I've ever, I must have drawn a dumpster, I've drawn comics. You have to draw everything when you draw comics. I've definitely drawn a dumpster, but I, I know I've never drawn a dumpster robot. So uh, Pile of Craft, when it first started, my wife, Pink Kiss Pottery, and I were part of the group that put it together. And the first thing that we thought of when we named it was the trash heap from Fraggle Rock. And the first poster we did was a collaboration between Rachel Bone and I of Red Prairie Press. And we, we did a, a poster design that was essentially the trash heap from that show, but it was made out of craft materials. Oh, oh, and here's fun. I've got space over here. Let's make his arms out of trash cans. Um, this robot has obviously displaced Os Oscar Grouch's living situation. Maybe this is Oscar. Oh God, this is the Oscar bot. Yes. Yeah, and I'll call him Oscar 2.0. Oh, nice. All right. So, so, so Jen from uh, Yummy and Company is requesting a mechanical dragonfly. Are you guys trying to kill me? What, what are you doing to me? All right, mechanical dragonfly. So here's the tough thing about drawing robots with a brush and ink without a proper planning tools is it's really hard to do these exacting shapes. So thanks a lot, Jen. Uh, actually, no, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, so I'm gonna start with an eye. I'm moving a little bit slower. And I'm gonna grid the eye. Okay. And they have long noses, or no, I forget. I know they have the long tails, but do they have like long noses? Just okay. big eyes, no noses is the comments. Okay, big eyes, no noses. That's what I thought. And uh, my lovely producer, Shauna Pankis of Pink Kiss Pottery, <laughs> a.k.a. My, my wife. All right. And so then they've got that long booty tail. Okay. Okay. And I call it a booty tail because they get fatter as they get to the end. And they're super colorful. And, of course, 
you know, this is like the worst version of a cat butt I've ever drawn. I apologize in advance. So, mm, 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 mm. Sorry, I'm singing to myself. And what's our next suggestion? We need somebody to give one. Oh, I need a suggestion. Something to turn into a monster. Vampire spider. Okay, a vampire. Oh, the Baron has a fan. Uh oh. Vampire. Yeah, I, uh, so you said somebody brought up the Baron. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yes, the Baron, my alter ego from Super Art Fight. Um, yeah, uh, the Baron is. Um, he's not here right now. Um, sometimes uh, he shows up unexpectedly, but I, I don't think he will today. Um, but you never know. He might come out to play. Um, so I am drawing, uh, uh, so I, I also, the reason I do it like this, I draw like this in this large area, is thanks to a performance art group I work with called Super Art Fight. Um, and uh, uh, it's kind of like a parody of professional wrestling, but instead of fighting, um, we, um, we, we draw at each other kind of combatively, kind of like this, in, in like 25 minute bouts, and we all have personas, and my persona is a very exaggerated or maybe not so exaggerated version of myself as uh, based on the look uh, that my wife just gave me. Yeah. But yeah, you should check them out. Go to superartfight.com. We've actually been putting out a lot of online content and figuring out uh, fun and innovative ways to put on live shows uh, remotely. And we've been having a lot of fun with that. Okay. So here's my spider. He's not scary. He is the cutest uh, thing I've, I, I may have ever drawn. Um, uh, which isn't saying much. I don't draw a lot of cute things. And uh, I'm going to put forth some of his legs. And just like me, they will be very hairy. Isn't the uh, Baron making an appearance tonight? The Baron is making an appearance tonight. Um, uh, so we do a show every other week where we actually put on a live show through uh, Twitch. And tonight, um, actually, it's just me making an appearance, uh, although the Barons might show up. Um, uh, we are based getting the crew uh, of funny people together to um, play Jackbox games tonight. So follow uh, Super Art Fight on Instagram for more, or on YouTube for more in, uh, information on that. All right. And then here is my, he took a little longer than I meant, but here is my vampire. Uh, what were some of the uh, hyenas? Trying to keep my oh man they're ugly oh man all right so I've never I don't think I've ever drawn a hyena and uh, my wife brought up a, a Google image search to help me and um, ooh, they've got little mohawks oh I love a nice little mohawk oh man I'm gonna make myself as a hyena I'm so excited okay so uh, oh and he's got two different shaped ears which if you ever meet me in person. Uh, you'll never look at me the same way again, but look at my ears. They stick out in different directions. And um, uh, once you notice that, you, you'll just giggle every time you try to have a conversation with me. And I'll get very self-conscious, so don't look at my ears. Um, I'm just kidding. I, I, but I do have two wildly different sized ears. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. What does his nose look like? They are like horrifying dogs. Uh, my wife and I just watched that uh, Birds of Prey movie, which after you know, uh, which we didn't know what to expect. Uh, that movie was we loved it so much, and uh, uh, she has a pet hyena in it, and it was it was horrifying and cute at the same time. Uh, I've got a little bit of space left to fill, and I do intend to fill it. Um, uh, ooh, let's get this guy kind of gr really gross. Um, but I'm only going to be drawing for another, like, five minutes. Um, so, um, uh, what's the next suggestion? Um, robotic paintbrush just came through. Okay. Robotic paintbrush. All right. So, I'm going to draw a robotic paintbrush. Uh, oh, I'm going to do it right here. I always love robots that have one eye. I don't know why. They have one eye. I'm thinking of that children's book we used to 
Pretty perhaps nice. they'll die. Yeah, perhaps, <laughs> perhaps they'll die with only one. Oh, no, it looks like a minion. i got to change that. Oh, and let's... Ooh, this will be fun. All right, so the paintbrush handle. So let's bend it forward and break it in half. So it looks like it's walking. Put a little shadow under it to make it feel like it's on the ground. And then, of course, he needs his brush bristles. Okay, so then we have Hellions or Pee Wee Herman as a space gladiator. Pee Wee Herman as a space gladiator. Um, I don't have a lot of room, but uh, the, that's I can't pass that up. All right, so let's see. I actually recently drew Pee Wee in one of those six fan arts challenge things. So let's see if I... can draw a monster. All right. right. And I haven't gotten any photo reference for this on purpose. See how this mouth turns out. Oh, he's, he's grotesque. All right. Arr. As a space gladiator. Kind of looks like John Waters. Kind of looks like John. Well, he doesn't have the little mustache. And I, when I drew him, oh, he needs, if he's going to be Pee Wee, he needs his, his bow tie. Okay. And I've run a little bit short on room. I apologize for that, um, but it's been about a half an hour, and I have, okay. and here we have it. Here is the entirety of my 30-minute mural, which, thanks to you all, is uh, horrific and monstrous and disturbing. You, you should all think about your life choices based off of the suggestions you've given me. Um, yeah, um, I just want to say uh, thank you so much for joining me um, uh, on this kind of live Monsterfy episode. Uh, I am Spaghetti Kiss. Uh, please check out my Etsy shop. Use uh, Virtual Pile of Craft as a coupon code. You get 20% off uh, everything in the store. Uh, comics, t-shirts, neckties... Um, let's see if I, you know, uh, cat demons, uh, crab skulls, uh, let's see, dragons, all sorts of stuff. And make sure you stick around and check out all the amazing things that the Charm City Craft Mafia is doing right now. It really is spectacular that they have gone out of their way to make an opportunity for artists who are stuck at home. Uh, I make a chunk of my living doing shows like Pile of Craft, and this has just been phenomenal. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you to the team at Charm City Craft Mafia. Go to charmcitycraftmafia.com. Check out Monsterfy on YouTube. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Monsters.